follow, are you ready to meet him? Are you ready? sold out. We, we Next year it's going to be bigger and better, but it was amazing. And Philip Lindsay, the interview with him was fantastic, and uh, it was a thrill for everybody to get to listen to him. And what an inspirational story, so it was a great event. Like, growing up, it was hard. You know, I mean, we, we were in different parts of the streets where you had to, you know, you had to be tough. That was our biggest thing, was going to college, you know, and we did well in school, and I think that at the time, different stuff was really good with helping their kids education while I go to work, I go to work with the mindset of I'm gonna win the day. You know, and that's anything you do, not just in sports, that's in, when you have a family, you gotta protect, protect your family and, and care for your family, you gotta do what you have to do. All, all I think is this, I love hard work, I love sweating, I love hurting, I love because that builds character. We couldn't be happier. You know, we had almost 900 people, uh, hundreds of students, uh, you know, Philip Lindsay was phenomenal, just a, a really nice young man who, who uh, came in and talked to these students about education and hard work. There's so many kids in my neighborhood that could be in the same position I am, better than me. But they didn't care about their grades. They didn't. They, they thought that, that it was a joke. And the first thing I will tell you guys is the worst feeling you can have is somebody that has the opportunity to go to school, go to college, kids. His whole education paid for, and that scout or whatever comes walking in. The first thing they ask for is, uh, "Can I see, you know, the grades?" You can see the transcripts. Yeah, exactly, transcripts. That's very important. You know, like getting your grades and, and being in your schoolwork, it creates discipline for you. It creates a structure. You don't want to be a dummy. Nobody likes a dummy. Period. You, you know, you ain't gonna get a girlfriend. You're not gonna get a job. <laughs> You want, you want to be able to sit down and have an intellectual conversation with somebody. To be able to talk, you know, not just about anything. You want to be able to talk if you want to talk about what's going on in the world. You want to be that dummy that's sitting here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you want to give your opinion. What's your, what's your impression of our community? It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It I, is. It's so the first time I came up to see Marcus play, I was like, damn. This is a this is problem. It's nice. It's clean. There's a lot of restaurants. A lot of uh, <laughs> restaurants that you wouldn't get in Denver. If you had to come here. Yes. I'm still trying to get past <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nobody else is gonna believe in your ability. But you know, I, I don't know how it could have been any better, and I think uh, our community is ex ex excited and happy about it. This is just the first of many to come. We'll do this every year. I look forward to seeing all these undergraduates back here next year. 